Walter Reed Hospital, where Secretary of State Dulles and President Eisenhower meet with Britain's top statesman, Prime Minister McMillan, and Foreign Secretary Lloyd. Symbolically, as the big two leaders chart democracy's course, another architect of freedom observed from a portrait, Winston Churchill, painted by President Eisenhower. Despite nearly a month undergoing radiation treatment of cancer, Mr. Dulles is eager to help lay the groundwork for Anglo-American accord in dealing with the Russians on Berlin and Germany's future. Rarely has there been greater need for friendly exchange of views. Soon, by helicopter, the President, Mr. McMillan, and Mr. Lloyd are to be whisked to Mr. Eisenhower's mountain retreat at Camp David, Maryland, about 26 miles from his Gettysburg farm. Here they are to spend most of their waking hours over the weekend discussing how they and their ally, de Gaulle of France, should sit down for summit talks with Russia's Khrushchev. U.S. Acting Secretary of State Herter joins the session. It is perhaps on a Sabbath visit to Trinity United Church of Christ in Thurmont, Maryland, that the keynote for understanding among democracies is heard. The text of Reverend Moyer's sermon included this passage. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us.